Yeah. Splash. Splash, it's a popsicle. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'd like to give a shout out to April, Michael C, and C.R. Barboni. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. It's 7 a.m. Boo's been laying on the bed. He slept on the cat tower all night. And uh, it was a good night. I did not hear him getting up and using the litter box. And um, yeah, so then he jumped on the bed this morning. And he was licking my legs after I got out of the shower. So I don't know if he's starting to be like Stella. And um, yeah, so far things are still still going good. He seems to be more, you know, back to his normal self. Good morning, Stella. Stella's laying on one of the cat blankets. How are you? This morning, when I got up, it was still dark out. I woke up at like six o'clock and I turned the light on in the dining room and who was sleeping in the middle of the dining room table? Stella. So, um, yeah, I told her very nicely, Stella, you know, queens don't lay on dining room tables. And then she got off of it. She was so tired, like she could barely keep her eyes open. Good morning, Simba. Simba slept on the bed a good part of the night. I remember waking up and finding him at the foot of the bed. How are you? Look at Simba's fluffiness. Look at how fluffy Simba is. Look at all that fluffy fur. So fluffy. And here's Splash. Splash is hanging out on top of the sofa. Hello, Splash. Good morning. Good morning, Splash. It's about 7.50 a.m. and today the cats are getting homemade raw food for breakfast mixed with primal raw rabbit nuggets. They're getting a drizzle of baby food on top and today what I did was I took some crunchies and I put them in a magic bullet and I uh, made like a powder with them, like I crushed them up and so they got that sprinkled on top of their food and they seem to really like it. And I don't know why Splash did not come down to eat. Boo's eating on the step, and at first he was looking for the crunchies, but when he started smelling his food, then he started eating it. So we'll see how he does. Does he just lick off the top of his food, or will he actually eat all of his food? I mean, he should like it. He loves the rabbit nuggets. He likes the homemade food. He's just, he's really picky. And honestly, I have no problem with Boo skipping a meal or only eating half of a meal because, you know, his body needs to heal itself. It's been two days now um, since he was having those issues. And, you know, it wouldn't hurt him. It is 8.10 a.m. and Boo ate his food. And then he came down here to the litter boxes and right here uh, he made a pee pee and in the other litter box he made a really big poop and uh, I watched him do both. So um, I'm going to scoop up the uh, pee clump and let's see how big it is. Is it normal size? And that's Boo's pee clump and yeah it's back to normal size so he seems to be uh, back to uh, normal after that strange incident a few nights ago. I gave Hydrox two scoops of the homemade raw food with water mixed in and he ate it all. He ate it all so fast. He's licking his plate clean. Simba, are you ready for dinner? Simba, would you like to eat? Simba, you want some food? Simba, look at the camera. Hello, Simba. 
The cats are eating their dinner. Stella's having some of the nature's variety instinct raw chicken bites. And Simba, Splash, and Boo are having a Stella and Chewie's rabbit patty with water mixed in. Simba and Splash are also having maybe three or four of the raw chicken bites because they like them. And Boo has some uh, crunchy dust on top of his. They should all like their food. Stella does not like those rabbit patties, so that's why she has the, uh, the chicken bites. She likes the chicken bites. And the cats ate all of their food. Simba helped Stella eat some of hers, and then he uh, finished off a little bit that Splash left, and Boo ate pretty much all of his. It is 8.50 p.m. right now, and Stella's laying on the bed. Boo's laying on the bed. Simba's laying on the cat tower. And I've been sitting here uh, working on my new lap desk and editing a video. Right now the video is rendering. I have an ice bag on my toe and I am in like pretty bad pain right now. And it's really weird. So yesterday, um, yesterday evening, I sliced my big toe. Like, um, I cut it really bad. I did not mean to do it. Um, it was an accident. And um, as soon as I did it, I applied pressure right away. And there was no pain. I, I was amazed that I felt no pain at all. I applied pressure for quite a while because there was a lot of blood. Um, eventually, I put some band-aids on it and I wrapped it up with tape and it seemed to be fine. And I still did not feel any pain or anything. And then when I went to bed later that night, uh, then it started throbbing and that's when I really started feeling uh, the pain of it. Um, so I unwrapped uh, some of the tape that was on it and I slept through the night only with band-aids, but um, I kept waking up because it was hurting me. And I elevated it on a pillow. I thought that would help. Um, it really didn't help much. So today, you know, this morning, um, it wasn't feeling that great, but as the day went on, it felt better and better. And I spent the entire afternoon running errands and I had no pain at all. Like, I thought my toe was like, okay, it's healed, everything's fine. Like, it felt normal. Like, it didn't feel bad at all. And then when I decided, okay, I'm going to lay in bed, edit a video, and, you know, put my foot up that's when the pain hit again for some reason every time I lay down the pain gets so much worse than when I'm moving around it, it's really kind of horrible so then I went I filled up this ice bag with ice and it's definitely helping by putting the ice on uh, the toe uh, while I'm laying here um, it I would say it takes about 80% of the pain away um, if I take the ice off, then obviously the pain uh, comes back and it's it's like throbbing. Um, so that is what is going on with me right now. And I have three of the cats in this room. Two of the cats on the bed with me. Simba's on the cat tower. And Splash is hanging out by the windows uh, in the living room. And uh, yeah, that's the fun evening I'm having. It's about 11 p.m. right now. Who's going crazy playing with this toy under this under this duvet cover? Of course, the minute I turn the camera on, then he just he stops. They're poking holes in it. Hello Simba. Simba says he wants to play. 
Simma jumped on the bed because he wants to play too. Look at Boo, he's sitting there all wrapped up in the, uh, the catch armor. Splash is even in the room. Splash says he wants to play. Good morning, Boo. Boo's laying in the hallway. It's about 7, 10 a.m. Boo was sleeping on the cat tower all night. Look at Splash. Splash is laying on top of the sofa cushion. He looks so comfortable. How you doing, Splashy? Hello, Stella. Stella slept on the edge of the bed all night. She was at the foot of the bed. She really enjoyed sleeping on the bed. Good morning, Simba. Simba slept on the edge of the bed also. He slept at the foot of the bed with Stella. Good morning, Simba. How are you today? Today for breakfast, the cats are getting a scoop of the homemade raw food with some of the homemade chicken broth mixed in. And they're getting a dollop of the homemade baby food on the top. And they're getting a sprinkling of crunchy dust. I'm still on PP patrol with Boo and he just used the litter box. He uses it right here. He kind of uses the same place every time. So I'm going to scoop it out and let's see. And here's Boo's pee clump. Look how nice and big it is. So happy he's not having problems anymore. It's 9.43 a.m. Boo's scratching around in the litter box because I think he wants to make a poop. And Simba has a front row seat. Okay, now he's going to back away. Hopefully he'll back away. And hopefully Boo is scratching so he can make a poop. I mean, it's fresh litter, so I don't know why he's going crazy. There goes Simba again. Look at this. What the heck is going on? What is Simba doing? Does Simba think he's playing? I think Simba wants to play. Okay, Simba, come on, leave him alone. Yeah, I think someone wants to play. Look how much litter Boo has kicked out of this box. You can tell a cat What I was going to say is that you can tell when a cat is going to poop instead of pee because they squat much higher. Like right now, Boo's in a pooping squat versus a peeing squat. When they're in a peeing squat, then they're like low. And he just made a, what looks like a big poop. We didn't hear it. Like a lot of times you'll, you'll hear it when it hits the litter. And Boo always ends up with like litter dust on his nose. I mean, this litter is supposed to be like dust free, but he still ends up with litter dust on his nose because his nose is moist and it attracts the dust. When he comes out, we'll see the dust in his nose. Plus he look, he sticks his nose in. Oh, and then he just licked it off. Oh, come on, Boo. I was going to wipe it for you. He doesn't like it when I wipe his nose. I got a popsicle here. Who's going to eat the popsicle? Stella said she's going to eat the popsicle. It's a cold popsicle. It's cold. Don't bite it. 
Boo, you want the popsicle too? Who's going to eat the popsicle? You're going to share it with your girlfriend? Come on. You could eat it, Boo. It's a popsicle. Simba's by the back door. Oh, Stella just walked away. Stella, would you like more popsicle? <gasps> oh, okay. Boo, you eat that on the floor, okay? Who wants popsicle? You want to eat it, Stella? Simba found it. Boo's licking it off the floor. Two cats on a popsicle. Stella does not like sharing popsicles with anybody. Don't eat it, Simba. Simba's in the shade. It's hard to see him. Stella, you don't want any more? Simba, you want it? Boo's still eating the piece on the floor. Where's Splash, Boo? Boo, where's Splash? Maybe he wants some Popsicle. I don't want you to eat all of it. I want to save some for Splash. Boo always looks so happy when he eats a Popsicle. Don't bite it. Don't bite it. Okay, we're good. We're good, Boo. I can't find Splash. Still says she's going to have a popsicle. Okay, let's see if we can find Splash, Stella. Splash hasn't had any. Where's Splash at? Splash. Eat it. Here. Here. Splash. Splash, it's a popsicle. Yeah. You like it. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Eat it. Yeah, Splash, eat it. Yeah. Eat it. It's a popsicle.
You like popsicles. It's funny, thank you. Here, eat it. Eat it. Here, it's gonna melt. Eat this. You like it. You've had it before. Eat the popsicle splash. I got a vacuum under this day bed. It's full of litter. I don't know how so much litter gets under this day bed. It's supposed to be non-tracking litter. What are you doing? Splash, you ate a whole squeeze up from me the other day, okay? It's the same thing, it's a squeeze up, it's just frozen. You got it? Here, you like it, here. Taste it. Taste it, Splash, you like it. It's a treat. It's a treat, eat it. Splash. Here, I can't reach you, here. Here, that's as, that's as far. This is as far as I can reach, Splash. Come on, my arm will not go any farther. Here. Here. Eat it. Why are you staring at it? Just eat it. Splash. You like this. Eat it. Eat it. It's a squeeze up. Eat the squeeze up. Eat it, you like it. Here. I'm gonna lay it down here. Lay it down like this. It'll melt. It's gonna make a mess. Yeah, it's not gonna stay. It's not gonna stay. Here. You gonna eat it? Splash, you're so, you're so difficult sometimes. Here. Eat it, you like it. Here. You like it. You don't want it? Here. Splash. Here. I give up. I give up, Splash. It is 6.55 p.m. I looked outside a few minutes ago and I saw Ditto on the patio. And then Ditto went over to the automatic feeder. And it looks like Ditto was trying to get some food out of the automatic feeder. So I was talking to Ditto, and then Ditto started meowing. Now, I thought Ditto was meowing back at me because I was standing there petting Boo, but it ends up Ditto was meowing at Hydrox. Here's Hydrox right now, but I guess Hydrox was on the patio chair, or I don't know where he was. I'm assuming he was on the patio chair. So Hydrox started walking toward Ditto, and Ditto was kind of eating out of the automatic feeder, so Ditto then backed away and he went to where he is now. And then Hydrox just walked over and Hydrox is hanging out here. Now I'm just about to go outside and give Hydrox some food because I like to feed him before it gets dark. And I'm actually kind of surprised that Ditto is just hanging out here because normally he'll run away. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens when I bring some food out for Hydrox. I'm actually probably going to bring two plates of food out so that Ditto can have one if he wants it and Hydrox could have some and there should be plenty of dry food in the feeder because I just filled it up the other day and there's no way that they ate it all already but there's Hydrox and there's Ditto. I just gave Hydrox two scoops of homemade raw food with water and oh my gosh. Here's Ditto. Come on Ditto, I'm gonna give you food, okay? I'm gonna give you food. I just heard what sounded like Boo's meows coming out of Ditto. You know Boo's little squeaky meows? That's what I heard out of Ditto, and Ditto's face looks more like Boo than Hydrox. I'm just putting that out there. Ditto's coloring looks pretty much like a mirror image of Hydrox, but his face looks more like Boo. Here. Here. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this here for Ditto. Hopefully he'll come back. There's plenty of dry food in the feeder. Oh my gosh, look, look. Ditto came back and he's eating the food that I gave him. Now I gave Ditto half of a can of the Trader Joe's uh, turkey and giblets or it might be their um, chicken and rice, I'm not sure. 
Um, but look, he came back and he's eating it. Ditto's getting friendlier. Look at that. So there's Ditto eating food and there's Hydrox in the bushes. Hydrox, go eat your food. There's Hydrox's food. I'd like to also point out that both of these cats have clipped ears. Uh, the left ear is clipped on both of these cats. So uh, that should indicate that they both have been neutered. And, um, you know, so hopefully any kind of territorial aggression would be lessened. Hello, boo. It's 7.12 p.m. It looks like Hijax was eating some of his food. And now I moved over here. And Ditto would be back behind these bushes um, and down a bit, but I don't know what Hydrax is doing. They seem to be getting along, but we'll see. It's 7.30 and I'm just about to feed the cats their dinner, but first Boo had to get his herbs. These are his kidney and bladder herbs. I'm going to keep him on these for at least a week. Um, so he got three drops. He's getting three drops before breakfast and three drops before dinner. And it's just better for me to give it to him in an appetizer than in his meal. Because if I give it to him in a small appetizer, I know he'll eat it. Like, he just ate it. I know it. But if I give him three drops in his meal, then, you know, I don't know for certain that he's going to get those three drops. Because sometimes he might not finish his meal. He might leave a little bit. So... That's why I give it to him in an appetizer. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.